Okay, this is the only crucial bit when you try to take a flyback transformer out. You've got to um, discharge anything that's left in it because it does have a capacitor in it or it has a capacitive action and it can store charge. So what I've done here is I've grounded a screwdriver and essentially jammed it under the rubber suction cup and I'm going to leave that for about a minute uh, just to make sure that everything's gone before I try to remove it. Okay, so that's got most of the good stuff out. Um, not bad for ten dollars. Uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that's neck, as it's called, the CRT, which is we're going to crack the uh, tube at the base and release the vacuum, and thus making it safe. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to release the pressure in the CRT, and I'm told that just a tap, just there, should be enough to do it. I've never done this before but I've seen it done and it seems fairly straightforward so let's see if we can do that. There we go! That was easy enough. So we've got the main flyback transformer just here. Uh, we've got a big switching resistor there attached to this metal plate which is a heat sink which is great. Uh, transformer, lovely big cap. Uh, power resistor there, that's 5 watts, 2.7 kilo ohms, that's current limiting. Uh, cap, 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 great stuff, and a bunch of other things that I can almost certainly use. Um, one of the best things about taking apart older technology is that they make their components a lot more accessible. Um, unlike the iPhone, which you can't do anything with. 